Hello everybody, my name's Car on Fire and welcome back to Small Land. So I've been fobbing off bosses for way too long. Honestly, I've just been enjoying playing the game and ignoring these, but I think it's about time I need to take them down because I now need them for progression. So it's winter time in Small Land. We're going to beat up some bosses, I guess. Some of the more vigilant of you might have noticed I got a new get up today. And that's because we said we were getting new armor last time. I went ahead and farmed it out. However, I'm missing one bit of it because I didn't get around to doing it. But we went with the bone uh, for most of the kit it will be. And the regal plate because it allows us to fly, which is so valuable in this game, honestly. So now I should be able to finish them off with the bone greaves, which are insanely strong. So that's why I'm building them. Them an expensive, mind you. And I also got this really awesome scythe and made with metal. Oh, see, that's much better. Look at me now. It's a brisk, chilly winter's morning. It's time to go for that thing. <laughs> So many people did this so much earlier than I did, so I wonder how hard or easy it's going to be. Oh, he's definitely interested in me either way. Oh, whoa! Oh, wow, okay. I didn't realise him to do that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, for anybody wondering, I did, I did figure out what the dodge key is now. <laughs> oh, not that I'm using it very often, because honestly, I don't feel like you need to a lot of times. <laughs> Unless you're fighting a massive frog. I can't dodge him anyway. <laughs> right. Oh, I gotta learn his attack patterns. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with murder. I think it's way quicker. Right. Die, Rhino Beetle. Well, that was a lot easier than um. Yeah, I left that way too late. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I've killed the beetle. Here you go. Here's a horn. <laughs> I recognise this horn. The beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how you found how it found its way down to the beach, though. It attacked me on sight. This is very unusual. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter. Oh. So well, if I did this earlier, it would have told me where to find Lysandra. That's actually pain. <laughs> Hey, I think the beauty of the series is I'm learning my own way and showing you guys on the journey. So, like, I'm not following any guides. I'm discovering things for the first time and doing it how I would instinctively play the game. So, that gives you an idea. <laughs> We've already seen Lysandra, but I guess it wants me to see Lysandra again. So, I'm going to take the easy way to see Lysandra. And, uh, well, I guess it'll be interesting to see... How I can fare up to the spiders now in this armor. Miss Creepy Lady! Yeah, this way is so much easier to get to Lysandra. It, oh god, I can't believe I did the whole swamp last time. <laughs> At least I know a quick way to get to Albino Spider now, though, I guess. Look, Missy. Hello. I've come to you because I have the knowledge that you might want. Oh, hello there. Hello, Lysandra. I was sent here by Scaddy. Uh, the rhino beetle on the beach, you say? Tell me more. I tell her about the rhino beetle. Very interesting. I've been preoccupied with a similar issue that's possibly related. The other night I saw someone lurking around in the swamps, though I couldn't make it out. Uh, oh, yeah, she's talking about the giant albino spada. So this is how we would have usually chatted with her. And then she's telling me the next step is to kill that very spider. I don't know if that spider's scarier than that spider. If I went to one of the final bosses as my first boss, I don't even know. <laughs> Albino spiders that way, though. If we go straight this way, I might be able to get there, but I don't know if I do want to go past that bit because heck, it's really big heck down that way. Oh, this will be my first time using this, and it looks pretty cheap, if I'm honest. I got plenty of boiled poisonous mushroom because I collected some last time I saw, and it might be a requirement. Oh. Right, give that to me. By the way, I made like a ton of sorrel broth. If you're wondering for the winter what's a really good and easy food to make, it's the sorrel broth. Because honestly, so easy to make and you don't have to farm spiders. That's always nice. <laughs> right, I got the stuff. I don't know how much we're going to need. Oh, it tells us 600 seconds. I'm going to guess this might be the better one to use. Since I can afford it, I'm going to go for it. Because honestly, there we go. We make five... Do I need an antidote? 
I might make one for the lols. Oh, it's a full skelly. <gasps> Must be in here. Yes, this is the location of the giant albino spider. All right, I'm gonna put me bed. Our oh, building's not allowed here. Oh, there we go. And then we spawn there. All right, hello, spider. Well, this definitely looks like a boss arena. So creepy. <gasps> oh, that's so much worse than the other one. Are you sure I'm ready for this, Lysandra? It's ass is huge. Well, I'm gonna need that. I don't know why I spill that all over my face when I consume it. Oh boy. Okay, let's just get this over with. Oh, you are not my favorite in the world. Okay, it's 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 strong against Pierce. Oh, oh. It's really hard to hit. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we missed it. Oh yeah, got big damage. Healing wrap. Okay, it's got that problem of being too big, so it's easy to dodge. That's the thing in this game. Okay, I'm gonna have to dodge this in a second. Oh, is my poison free not working anymore? All right, stop sucking. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I think it's healing. I don't want it to heal. I have to see. It's so hard to hit, guys! I don't know, I feel like they should have done a spear on this one as a way to get it, because honestly I'm having so much trouble hitting it. Come on, albino spider. It's pretty, um, easy to read to dodge, though. Oh, we're gonna kill it! Did we kill it? Oh, we killed it! Yay! Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um, I feel like they need to make the hitbox easier to target on it, though, because it was really hard to target the hitbox on it. And uh, I suppose while we're here, do I have my scissors? I do! I'll get some silk. Hey! Um, I managed to kill the giant spider. Oh, you put it down over there? Uh, I will examine it. Well, it is as I feared. The eye is clouded and bloodshot, suggesting this spider has been poisoned. I don't know of any poisons that could affect such a large creature, though. My old friend Tuhula. We saw her last time. Oh, Tuhala, sorry. Taught me everything I know. She would certainly have the knowledge of such poisons. Sadly, she went missing shortly after her accident, and no one has seen her since. I know Nock has been having trouble of late, apparently a black hornet has taken over the Greylands where she resides. Could uh, these events be related? <gasps> have I found a new person with this? Wolf spider treat. <gasps> okay, at any rate, you deserve a reward for ridding us of the albino spider. Take the spider treat recipe. You can use it to befriend the wolf spiders. Oh, guys. This sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, how did I miss him? How did I miss Nock? He's so... I've been over there like thousands of times. How did I miss this guy? I wonder if he's in the pipe system. There's a pipe system in this area. Maybe I missed him that way. Oh, I'm fresh out of grasshopper legs. You know, it's, it's not something I collected a lot of before, so... That's fine. They're at the bottom of my tree, the grasshoppers. Oh, I might sleep the night first, though. I love how cozy this little bed is. <laughs> it's so cute. It makes me wonder what the other bed's like, but this one was a bit uh, easier to craft, so that's why I went with it. All right, I got the legs. Let's make the treat. There we go. Beautiful. It looks like dragon fruit, weirdly enough. I don't know why. <laughs> If you guys don't know what dragon fruit is, just quick Google and you'll you'll get it. <laughs> All right, hi buddy. You wanna be friends? I'm actually not here to kill you, just solidly this time. I can tame it. Hey! <laughs> hi buddy. You're creepy. <laughs> All right, how good are these? Oh, I don't like the bum movement, but they're quite quick. I wonder if they have any special things like the other one did. 
Oh, the bomb is grayish. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be able to jump or it's... Oh, it can attack, though. I gotta try. I'll do a crap job at it. Okay, he two hits him. That's not fantastic. Probably pissed off. Oh, I didn't piss off any of the bees. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Usually if I hit them, they're all after me. Well, there is one after me, I suppose, but... I wonder if it has more health as well. Oh, I wonder how this differs to the gecko. Can you climb up? I feel like, as a spider, I should be able to climb up the vertical surfaces, right? That doesn't seem to be a thing, though. That's fine, though. Well, there's a hornet. I don't want to risk losing my new spider friend. Well, I would never say that in a, in a sentence together, but, you know, sometimes you change. <laughs> Especially when they become friendly and they want to be ridden, I guess. So where can I go to Nox? Is he over here? He's got... Yeah, the lights are here. He's got to be here. So I'm going to leave you here. You, you're on stay, aren't you? Good wolf spider. Can't believe I've missed this guy. He's so obvious. <laughs> oh. All right. Hello. F hello, new friend. Oh, wow. Look at you. Oh, you're like a scientist lady. You remind me of... Oh, there's a lady in like a film or a tv show reminds me a lot of must mind <laughs> howdy it's not every day i see a person up here i can see why this place is not very welcoming well that's the gray lands for you i'm knockendell metsalute but you can call me knock thank goodness for that knock knock <laughs> oh she should have been playing with it Greylands are great, riddled with artifacts left by the giants. I salvage metal scraps and other things I use in my inventions. Do you need help with any of the creatures? Well, normally they leave me alone, but this area has gotten a lot more dangerous with the Black Hornet. I know where that is. Uh, flew in from the Enchanted Lands up north and made home in the top giant metal box and turned the Greylands into a hunting grounds. Please take care of the beast for me so I can resume my scavenging expeditions. On a side note, I'm sure you could be, uh, you could find it helpful to get some sapphire wings. Take a visit to Miramek, he has great armor. I've already done that, lady. Alright, goodbye. Oh, sweet. So she's just a talking one. Do I have a Miramek thing on my thingy now? I do! I wonder if that means he shows up in the codex now. Because I he didn't show up before. The Black Hornet. I've seen that. It's like a giant uh, wasp thing on top of the thing. Uh, <laughs> on top of the thing thing. I can harvest her stuff. But I don't get why she couldn't harvest any of the stuff around the area. I had, you know, an easy enough time doing so. Yeah, on top of that bin, I have seen it before. The only issue is... Um, I don't know if it's going to be really bummed to do it. Because if it is another flyy thing, then I have trouble with those. Because... They're always like, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, I've just wasted my time. The problem with the flying things is they're so hard to hit. And like really big things, really hard to hit. Right, we're going to take this so we can do this really important boss. I'm going to hope this uh, kite and spear will be enough for it. And hopefully it will come down enough for me to get it. Oh, I don't, haven't even healed properly. Oh, that might not be an option anymore, huh? <laughs> Hi, you sound horrible. Uh, what? Uh, oh, okay, that's what that is. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, the noises. Oh, I can hit. It's very easy to hit. No, bad. Bad hornet thing. <laughs> oh, she's going for me. Healing. I think the poison resistance brew is almost vital to have. I tried to dodge that, but I didn't. She gives you time to heal, though, which is good. Right now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. We can always res. You or me, horse. Oh, you're going to do it again, aren't you? It just doesn't matter if I dodge or not. She moves towards me. What a, a bee. 
even though she's a hornity. Oh, that's the strap. <laughs> oh, I figured you were. Stop running away. Stop it. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, I dodged her. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, come on. You're now being a spoil sport. <laughs> Where are you now? Fine. There we go. Sapphire wings. That thing sounded absolutely horrific, by the way. <laughs> that was easier, in my opinion, though, with that poison resistance brew. Easier than the albino spider. But I'm guessing that's because it was way easier to hit with a pike. And I had the resistance brew, which is going to help me a ton, so... Whee! So are you saying you can make me a better wingsuit? Because if you can, uh, you're about to be my favourite person. <laughs> <sighs> Whee! Hi! I got your thingy for you. Ah, excellent. Did you manage to remove its wings? I did. If you can provide me with the materials I need, I can craft some wings for you. As for the black hornet... I've been hearing about similar issues from the settlers recently. It's a creature all around the overland. has become very aggressive towards us. I don't know what's going on, but I noticed something strange the other day. As I discovered in ruins, I saw the enormous giant stag beetle. I found that last time with a jewel chained around its uh, throat. It's heading into a cave near a broken bridge. Is there any chance... Uh, why would anybody chain a jewel to a creature? And who could get close to such a creature without being attacked? I've been attacked by it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is a banging set, dudes. The cold protection is not as good, though. Edge resistance. You know what? What is it? Is it got the chest plate for gliding? I reckon this stuff I have is really good already. But if I can make the breastplate on this set... I think that's what I need to do. Well, my mount didn't last five seconds. It decided to fight a cockroach from... The cockroach was there. My spider's here. And it decided to aggro straight on it. I feel like we need some um, commands to passive them. Because... This is probably like the second time this has happened to me. Like the grass... Poor Gary. I had to get a Gary 2.0 because previous Gary did the same thing. Oh no, I think Gary 2.0 also did the same thing, actually. So now I have no mount again. <laughs> oh, it makes me so sad. I was enjoying that one. I think I'll be able to make this pretty easily. Oh yeah, I pretty much got it all. <gasps> Just, uh, what was it I needed? Uh, insect fur. Easy. I've got tons of that. That stuff, like, never ends. <laughs> Still can't believe we lost our spider, though, man. I was just looking at the weapons. I'm looking at this one. This does blunt and pierce damage. <gasps> oh, and it's about the same as the spear. Or well, not that one. Oh, yeah, this one. So if I use this instead, I could cancel out needing two weapons entirely, really. And it would be about the same. Oh, I don't think I can, actually. I need lizard claws. I don't know where to get. I've only seen geckos, I haven't seen lizards yet. Oh my goodness, there's a whole species I haven't seen yet. <laughs> this game is huge. You know what, for now, we'll make the pickaxe because I was looking for hatchet. There doesn't seem to be a hatchet upgrade. So we'll make this because I feel like we may need that at some point. I don't want to come to an area where I can't pick things because <laughs> I haven't got the right tools in the shed, right? I think we're ready to go see the lady now, though, and make my new wingsuit. Woohoo! Exciting! I wonder if I'll be able to glide longer with this uh, new set. Right, uh, the breastplate. There we go. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. So we're going from a 3.5 to a 3.8, which is pretty banging. And... Well, it has slightly less durability. That's a bit weird. So hopefully, this... Oh, it actually goes so much better with this suit. <gasps> oh, I even have a little fluffy neck. Oh, this is... Oh, that hides the helmet really nice, actually. That does. 
Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, I feel like a queen. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, I'm really hopeful about this set then. Hopefully this will be really good for me. I think for this one though, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. And in the next one, I feel like... I don't know, we could be finished, or it might take a couple more episodes to finish, unless there's more hiding in the butthole of this game, I don't know. Uh, our last two bosses are the Spider Matriarch and the King Stag Beetle, so that's, uh, whew, that's gonna be something. I feel like we absolutely blasted the bosses today really well, and we made humongous progress, so, uh, next on the list will be, I guess, talking to Tuhala. A spider talking to her and then going to kill the king stag and hopefully finding a way into the castle um and f hopefully find the clover key because i'm guessing that's where it's got to be if anything because we haven't gone there yet so uh yeah thank you for watching i love you all and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye